Welcome back to Harbaugh, Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders. That's been the debate for months now within the richest union in the U.S. The United Auto Workers, which has been has more than a million active and retired members, has remained one of the few national unions to not yet endorse for president. Until now, until this moment, UAW International President Dennis Williams has said that the decision is made and the group will be all in now. And Mr. Williams joins me right now with an exclusive announcement, which is? Well, we've the executive board and voted unanimously to support Hillary Clinton for president of the United States. So you're, you're all in now? We're all in. And all your members are with you? We, our members will be with us. What, what, what in the percentage of your members do you think come November will vote for Donald Trump? Well, right now we just did a poll. 28%? We had 28% in our polling, and I believe probably 6%. Well, what it'll come down to? 6%. What do you make of the, the, the reason why almost a third of them, are, 20, three out of 10, are now supporting Trump? What's the impulse there? I think there's two issues that when we did our polling, and by the way, when, before we endorsed, we did a lot of polling, focus groups. We focused on what the members were saying. We had two great friends of labor, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, and it was a tough decision. And I got to tell you, our membership was very split. 28% we focused on. Uh, Trump supporters, immigration and trade was yeah, the two I issues. Understand. Where you got you guys are tough on trade though, right? We are. So you're with you're with Bernie at least, and you're also Trump. Coincidentally, you're with him. Well, we're with Trump and, uh, on what he said, not what he says. Yeah. And I mean that because uh, here he is in Detroit, Michigan, says that he uh, would stop Ford Motor Company from going to Ford. Then he turns around the same remarks and says, oh, by the way, I would close the plants in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Kansas, and all them. He didn't name them, but he was if talking what? about if all what? of them. Close them down and then tell the workers, if you want your jobs back, come back for less money. He said he'd do he that? He just said, Detroit News reported it out. When was this? This was a couple months ago. Really? During the Michigan primary, by the way. So he'd have a lockout. <laughs> That's what I looked at. So he was uh, discounted immediately. Does he think UAW guys and, men and women are getting paid too much? I got a, well, after following him for a little bit, and we watched all the debates, and, uh, you know, you didn't get much out of the Republican I mean, he's debate. tough on labor. He's tough on labor. On wages. But, I mean. but here's, here's, our members are focused on inequity in this country. The fact that women should get the same pay. Yeah. We're focused on good paying jobs in the United States. And we are sick and tired of bad trade deals. Let me ask you this about your union, and you know the history, and I will, I will uh, praise you. Clean union from the beginning. Uh, no mob stuff, never, and it, always clean. I mean, because there are some that were. You had, yeah. you had the Teamsters and all their mess over the years with Beck and, and Hoffa. But your union's always been liberal. You were, you were the guys that fought in the beginning for health care. You really set the standards. How come? Why are electrical workers such good, clean union guys? <laughs> I'm serious. What, well, what's signaling you out? No, I, I think the United Auto That's why we have you on, because you're pretty admirable. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Chris. Uh, the fact is that uh, our union has always been focused on the needs of the membership and social issues. I mean, yeah. we've it's been involved picture. with the civil rights yeah, movement and uh, the Ruther apartheid brothers, I know that. all the way through. Doug you, Frazier, well, Owen Bieber. Well, here you, know. you are, openly endorsing Hillary Clinton. What a word. Do you have a word for Bernie? Yeah, Bernie, it's about time for unity. I, you know, we love Bernie Sanders. Don't, I don't want anybody to misunderstand what we just did. We're in Jefferson, Hillary Clinton. She's gotten three million more votes than Bernie, a million more votes than Donald Trump. She's our nominee. It's time to unite behind a strong candidate. And Hillary Clinton has proven she's a leader. She has been scrutinized. She has been criticized. And she okay. is a tough individual. Thank you. Dennis Williams, international president of the UAW, thank you for coming on.